Okay. Are you sure you want to be wearing those shorts? These shorts and my and shirt, your shirt is Buslot. Yeah. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. But a video podcast. Cover na lang your piko with this banana. What? It's Slater's humor. Diba yung last episode natin was show them your banana. Oh, so, that's why. Here's my banana. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the Sky Podcast. So, love. Yes, love. How are you feeling tonight? Excited am, for this podcast? I am getting there. Warming up with oh, your whiskey. It's sarap sana magkape, di ba? Like, pag nag-podcast and then you're on coffee, so parang... Yeah, parang it makes you more talkative. Mm. And you have so many things to say. But we do it at night. How do you live without, like, coffee now? I am not living without coffee. I have coffee in the morning. But super light coffee when <laughs> you used to have, like... <laughs> One bean coffee, like, extra mile. When I used to have, like... <laughs> Two to three cups of super intense coffee. I actually like it better now. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like I'm less wired. Uh, yeah. And I can sleep easier also. Mm. But chempret also means I sleep earlier and I'm always tired. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like ako, I cut down by half then. Really? I only have oh, one yeah. in the morning. Did you drink a lot of coffee because we were dating? Um, no, I just used to drink a lot of coffee. I think it's just, you know, when you're bored, you want like coffee or something to drink. And then when you're, I don't like to see anything sweet. I don't like snacking a lot. So parang coffee, black coffee, zero calories, and it's supposed to be antioxidant. That's what. And it makes you full. Yes, it makes you full then. Yeah. But I actually read a study from um, a book by Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep. Mm-hmm. Now, you shouldn't have coffee after 12 because coffee has a 12 hour half life. It, essentially, it has it stays, stays in, in your, your system, system for 12 hours. So, if you want to sleep at 12 midnight, your last cup should be at 12 noon. Yeah, so that's why mm-hmm. I don't have coffee mga by 10 wala na. So now you you drink about 2 cups a day, right? Yeah. How was it like when you were in PBB because I remember <laughs> you were telling me that they gave out super counting food lang. Like, you'd have to work for your food, right? So, coffee was our main ingredient for everything. Oh, you had unlimited coffee. Unlimited, because my coffee sponsor. Oh, so, we had so unlimited funny. coffee, and every morning they'd give us milk, and then we'd make recipes out of it. So, we'll get a loaf of bread, mix sugar with coffee and milk, and we'll create like a tiramisu. Wait, so <laughs> you guys were all super wired. Because you just ha- you had a lot of coffee. No, I think you're always sleepy when you're in PBB because um, there's lights all the time. For the cameras to work, there has to be light. Right. So they never turn off the lights. When you enter the PBB house, the entire ceiling is fluorescent bulbs. So wh- why does that make you sleepy though? If it's super bright, I would assume. You can't sleep properly at night. Oh, and even you at night? Yeah, even at 24/7? night. 24-7? Yes. Ah. Again, ito ang feeling to be sleeping in PBB, especially during our season because the house had almost at 1.30 people. Wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, so they, they had separate rooms, one for the girls, one for the boys. But the problem is you cannot go out of the room at night. So we'll have a bucket and then we'll put detergent Nung para sa laundry, You'll para be there. Ma- and we'll be there. Because you can't go out at all at night. Why? Because, um, I don't know, maybe they're fixing things outside the house. Or oh, wait, sometimes wh- they get ready to surprise you the next morning. What if you really have to like poop? Um, there's really... <laughs> the camera, the CCTV camera moves. And there's always someone watching... Okay. So there's like, I'm, I'm sure if you watch the live stream, you can see the housemates talking to the CCTV camera. And then you can communicate with the CCTV camera. I say, Kuya, Kuya, um, can I pee? Can I pee, please? K- kailangan ko na talaga, Kuya. And then it will take, usually take a while, but it will answer you. Up and down. Yeah. So yes, you can go out. So you have to keep left, staring at right. it. You have to keep staring at the camera yeah, to wait you, for the you reply. Talk for the, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. so sad. 
And then are there times when the camera says, no, you can't pee? Um, yes. Um, <gasps> I, I remember Divine was complaining about this all the time because there was, there's some times where you have to wait in the room for like four, three, four hours while they're doing something. Maybe a camera is broken. I don't know. I don't know what they do. But you have to wait and Divine is like, Kuya, please, please, please. And then you kind of, you kind of learn how to hold your pee in. It's like mind that over is mat, not but it's healthy. dangerous. Yeah, I that's so bad for you. Yeah, that's it's so crazy. Weird. And there was one point I was saying that there's so many daming tao that in the bedroom, in a small bed, um, maybe half the size of our bed, uh, there's three people sleeping there. Well, and what if like the person you're sleeping beside is a kicker or yeah, a snorer? Ganyan. Wala kang choice. Yeah. So it's essentially sa time pa namin they shut off everything you more windows so you don't know when when is midnight when is it's daytime so and you don't it have a watch so, either so claustrophobic you're not allowed to bring a watch wow so they really mess with your brain huh i don't think they did it on i don't know if they did it on purpose cuz i don't see it happening now eh. that eh, it used to be um covered everything but now when i guessed it and i saw it via zoom then parang it's open now. You can see the pool Maybe all the time. Maybe somebody complained. No, it's it was because our ep- our episode was they the first time they did two houses, so they had to shut out certain parts so that you don't see each other. I feel like this experience is sounding a little too traumatizing for me. Um, <laughs> I feel like uh, well, to be perfectly honest, I know a lot of the housemates actually had to talk to like psychologists a therapist or a therapist to just to like encourage them and and reassure them right so did at you, any given time if you want at uh, no pbb will actually support you did anyway. you need a therapist when you were there nope ako lang pinaka strong <laughs> as far as i know it was me and divine who and didn't I, need one i don't know of all the others and i don't think i should be saying <laughs> these things okay but um were, did you at any given point feel like you were kind of mentally, you needed to be strong. Like, I, keep it together, Slater. I, f- I learned from being in PBB that I was very mentally strong. But you can control, basically, your thoughts. Uh, so you don't go crazy. Or probably because I sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the the secret, Slater's secret to winning PBB. Yep. Sleep through the season. <laughs> Pansinin you guys, lahat ng mga big winners, ma- 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 mahilig matulog. Really? Or at least in the, the top four, the big four, mahilig matulog. Why because is that so? I feel like it helps you be saner. I, I, I got a lot of penalties though for always sleeping. Um, anyway, um, like, you you never you're never in fights and you're always fresh for tasks when there's a task fresh ka kasi kakatulog mo lang eh and um you're never yeah i think the number one is you're never really in fights so parang less controversy surrounding you i think so i think so and why do they penalize you for sleeping cuz they want the drama especially when Everyone is sleeping because there's nothing happening in the house. So what do they do? Like, You're not supposed to wake up, uh, sleep all the time because it's weird when you're still sleeping. So always, Slater, go to the confession room. That's <laughs> it. Slater, why are you still sleeping? Really? <laughs> yeah. No way. And I'm wondering, do they show like all of these random clips when yes. it airs? Yes, because it, no, it, it's airing 24-7. As much as possible, it's airing 24-7 via the internet. And then my prime time where they edit out everything. Na. And they just show like the highlights. Yeah, but it, actually, interesting. Siya. Interesting siya even to watch 24-7. My mom was watching it all the time. Well, Shambra, she's your mom, so she wanted to know what you're up to. Yeah, but I mean, even me looking at yung parang uh, when we were guesting, so may mga live stream na, na nakikita. Um, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, or maybe because I relate a lot. And, I think so. And I know the layout of the house. Right, right. And it was so eerie to hear Kuya's voice again. Later. Did it bring back like all these memories? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good or bad? Um... Fairly, a lot of people will say they had bad uh, experiences in PBB. But for me, it was, I would say, 90% positive. A lot of mental torture. It's not like torture, <laughs> torture. But it's like a lot of mental fortitude. 
na kailangan. Right. And a lot yeah, you have of... have to be strong mentally. Kasi palagi ka nagde-daydream and I feel like that's part of the reason why I, I developed the habit of just spacing out. Right. Like so, waiting for the time to pass. Waiting for the time to pass. Or like... For the next challenge. Oh, sarap mag-Starbucks. <laughs> Ganyan. <laughs> I remember the first time we were... Uh, parang yung, ep- yung episode namin or yung season namin, we were parang nilagay kami agad sa parang squatters area. So the studio was designed to be a squatters area. And for those that have seen that episode, may kanal right. sa gitna. And everything was mud. Yung kanal was actually a real kanal that they diverted from the road. So if you fell into the kanal, which happened... It wouldn't be very healthy. <laughs> I mean, it's not like sobrang mabaho, but it had a smell. Right. And we slept like on plywood. Like sewer talaga. Oh, sewer talaga. And they fed us ampalaya, itlog, sardines for like a week. So the first time, binigyan nila kami ng ketchup. I remember one of the housemates, si Dayan, cried Aww. because she missed ketchup so much. Oh, that's really something, huh? Like... I, after hearing your stories, I feel like you must really want it if you join PBB. I really didn't know what I was getting into. I felt like, personally, I did it because I did my. I felt like my life in Cebu was like Mundane. too comfortable. I mean, pa ulit ulit yung routine. Right. I was doing well, parin working for my father in construction, but I felt like, like no problem. But yeah, I felt like the world can be more more exciting or okay. there's more to life than Cebu. Right. So at that time, wala pa akong experience even going to school somewhere else other than Cebu. So right. I felt like I wanted to explore more of the opportunities that came along. Mm-hmm. So it's funny how that experience really opened my eyes to a lot of things because di ba tayo, the usual person, sanay tayo to be with a certain group of people. Mm-hmm. But in this case, um, sobrang daming tao from all different walks of life. Merong isa snatcher, merong isa worked in construction, merong isa uh, parang taxi driver sa states. So, sobrang daming walks of life, different perspectives. And I, at first, my instinct was to shut down. I actually got called like parang into the confession room and then like they were talking to me because they were worried about me because I wouldn't talk like why are these people dancing all the time and because I I didn't know anything about PBB much and I felt like a lot of the housemates were like playing towards to the camera right like notice me notice me yeah oh I have this talent I can sing I can dance so it's like one big audition and you were like a natural introvert no I was just shocked because I never. The only season I watched was Sila Sam, Sam Milby, which was the first and most popular. Partly Sila Kim Chu and Sila Melai. But I never really followed it all the way through. So I didn't know what really happened inside. So parang na, na culture shock lang ako if I were to put it in more digestible terms. Mm, but. You were all, you were telling me before that you're really like an introvert at heart. Like, how did you, how were you able to kind of get out of that shell to mm. meet, like, to talk to all of these different people from all walks of life? So I feel like PBB brings out a lot in you and what you're capable of. Like, they all always have this question about PBB: What did you learn? And it sounds so cheesy, but I really did did learn a lot. I the the biggest thing I could say is that. I realized that I had the capacity to lead all the time. Like, lahat ng mga suggestions ko, it actually worked. And people actually listened to me. And I didn't get into a lot of fights. And most of the tasks na kasama ako, nananalo kami. You know what? I find, um, like, when you're in a group of people, like, when you're with a group of people that you don't really know, mm. and, like, everybody's talking about, like, okay, what can we do? What can we do? My personality is I don't really, I'm not comfortable with the, being the one to give the suggestion, even though mm. I have an idea of what to do. Like, are you the same way? Or did you, like, naturally want to lead them? It used to be, parang, oh, I'll be on the sidelines. And then, after a while, parang, 
hmm, these, these suggestions don't make sense. I think we should do it this way. And everybody would listen to me. I'm shocked lang ako. Kasi, um, even when I was in construction, I was fairly a leader because you're leading a project, ganyan, di ba? But it's different when you're leading a group of people you're not paying or right. who are not your friends, right. di ba? And they listen to you. It actually means a lot. Okay. So, parang, na-realize ko na, oh, my, my being vocal about my opinions can actually make us win. Right. So, and I feel, feel like um, even si Carlo, one of the housemates, parang sinabi niya sa akin, like, why do you give the best suggestions all the time? Parang gumanyan siya sa akin. He was my friend. Parang, as a joke or like he was mad at you? As a sarcastic joke. Mm. Because he would have a suggestion and I would have like a one-up suggestion pa. So, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like an innate thing. Did you feel like that personality of yours or that quality of yours helped you win the season? Oh, yes. I, I really feel like uh, it did. It, so, it, is it safe to say like the stronger personalities or the leaders of the group are more likely to win PBB than like if you're just sitting on the sidelines and kind of, you know how in some reality shows, it's usually the quiet one. At first, you don't mm. really notice that person. And then eventually, parang she gets a little bit more drama, a little bit more action. Remember how I said ganina na, it's always the ones who sleep a lot. So because, in the first few episodes, natutulog ka lang. Because it's usually <laughs> the quiet ones who kind of like grow out of their shell that win. I feel... And become a leader. If you have a significant moment where you show leadership and you're not even just leading your housemates, you're also um, being able to stand up to Kuya. Oh, I remember you told me you did that. Like, he wanted you to oh, do he wanted task me to fall to, in love with someone or something. Yes, to tell a girl that I was falling for her and young girl, my boyfriend. Parang I didn't feel like... It was a good thing. It was the first task ever that was given to me. And like, parang, seriously? Is this? Like, this is PBB and you're gonna let me do that? Uh, parang, sige, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's see. So, I actually tried. Tried. And then, parang, it, it rubbed me the wrong way talaga. So, I just said, I can't do it. Just nominate me out. And do you feel like that was the turning point? I don't think so. Because that was like the first month. Oh, okay. And the you were there month. for like five months. Yeah. Right? I, I know. No, that wasn't the first month. That was the first week. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so, parang, I feel like uh, may mga tasks where you kind of, I think it's when people see that you've grown and see that you are being real. Mm-hmm. I think the song of PBB is Magpapa Katoto. Like, I don't want to sing it, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's always about like being real, and you can actually see it. People acting out and having a peg, like peg ko si Sam Milby dati, or peg ko si this person. Right, if you're trying to be somebody else. Yes, I feel like people that's can a, see through it. Yeah, and yeah. you can see it also. Like maybe me more than. Uh, someone looking from the outside but you can see it okay because it's not always like steady right mm. there are fluctuations in the personality like yeah makikita mo yung totoong personality niya and then okay I'll be Samuel B again and then yeah. okay it's weird or like my, my projects sila, like I'll always be singing I'll always be mm. playing the guitar I mean it's fun but sometimes meron kasi and I feel like the biggest advantage for me is that since I didn't watch the show and I didn't expect to win I didn't, I just like went along for the ride. Right. And I think that's the best part because you're not really expecting anything. Oh. And every day is kind of like just a new experience. Yeah. Right? And I felt like, ano lang, what really carried me through is that my parents, like, away kami ng mom ko, diba, before going into PBB, kasi ayaw niya. My dad said, we really don't like it. We, um, we, we are a private person or private, private family. family. Um, but if ever you decide to go that route, you, you can always come back naman, sabi niya. So, iko yung prodigal son. Oo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yung mom ko naman never spoke to me um, for like, parang nagalit siya sa akin, but yung parting words niya sa akin was, remember that you're, you're your father's son. Mm-hmm. So, the whole time in PBB, my mission in my head was like, don't embarrass your parents. Yeah. <laughs> yung nasa utak ko. Yeah. 
Well, that's actually good advice. Yeah. From your mom. Again, mommy's listening. Hi, mom. <laughs> looking back, it's parang like crazy serendipitous in a way where how I joined PBB, I never really expected it. Like the boss si Erickson, yung manager ko, found me on Facebook because magkasama kami ni KC Conception. I don't know KC Conception at that time, pero may isang party lang na nandun siya, nandun din ako, and then we had a photo together. And then tinaga ko. Nakita ng manager yung photo kasi friends sila ni Casey. So, he clicked on my photo and saw my profile. Ta sabi niya, na nag-message siya sa akin, like, "Hi, I know this is random, but do you want to be an artista?" And what did you say? Um, I actually Google this name, tinan- uh, I, I saw this website na Erickson Raimundo and then managing Sam Milby and Constantino. So parang, uh, pwede legit pero pwede fake account. Right, right. So parang, mm, not really comfortable pa. I, I, don't, I forgot now how I replied but parang, he, he, when I decided to meet him was this. He said, I'm timing actually going to Cebu and I'll be with Sam. So, Parang sinabi ko, oh, if, if we meet up and then Sam is there, okay na. Kasi alam ko you're legit. Yeah, but that's also very brave of you to actually like meet up with someone who you and, just chatted with online. Like, parang, I would never do that. Yeah, I actually asked around a lot. And the weirdest thing with this was, it, it, if it wasn't for other things that happened before, I wouldn't have in, entertained siguro. So what happened before that was I was approached by two other talent managers from Manila. Timing na nandito din sila sa Cebu. One was the the manager of si Mateo. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then one I forgot na the name. Anyway. But yeah, so parang sinabi ko, is this a sign to actually try this out? Ah, so parang third time's the charm. Might as well try it. Let's hindi see. Hindi naman siya third time's the charm. It's like, I never really entertained. I, I, parang I had open communication with them, but I didn't like entertain it pa. I can't act. Parang inisip ko ganyan. So with this, like, oh, sige, sige, sige. Um, I'll try it out. I'll talk to you. So, nag, nag-usap kami. And then he said, you know what would be good for you? I don't want you to be artista. I want you to be in PBB. Oh, so he kind of knew already from the beginning where he wanted to place you. Parang nat- nakita niya na he wanted people to get to know me first. Bef- Why is that? Because if you're an actor, mas hindi mo kilala the tao behind the character you're playing, di ba? So parang naisip niya when we were talking daw na parang we had a lot to talk about, we had deep conversations when we were talking. So parang naisip niya, oh, this, this guy would be good for PBB. But of course, wala siyang power over PBB. I still had to audition. Okay, and that, when he told you like, you would be good for PBB, what was your initial reaction? Like, what's PBB or did you know what it was? I already you? knew what PBB was. Si Sam nandun eh. Oh yeah, uh-huh. and you were like super game already to try it? Like when he first mentioned it? Parang naisip ko, okay, sige, what's the worst that could happen? I could be in PBB. And then, ah, very convincing siya. Sabi niya, you're negosyante, di ba? So whatever happens, at least you've tried. Right. And whatever you, endeavor you decide to do in the future, meron ka ng at least a recall or a certain sense of trust when you do business because like people, people know, know you. People will know your name. And yeah. so they, they can put a picture behind the name. Yeah, so and then he you. was very open. Naman. He's one of my closest friends. He's our Nino, right? Mm-hmm. But he was very open. Na, I'm not expecting you to be being an artista forever, but just try it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so parang that convinced me to actually okay sige let's give it a try that's also why I didn't expect to win because before me it's always the people that came from major humble beginnings that won like and they had a very sad story yes and it's always a girl and ikaw you're just like in it for the ride <laughs> yeah I was there like parang oh sige try natin let's see what PBB can offer me and let's see what it can uh, what gates it can open right yeah and I, but I, a lot of people think that I didn't audition. I, I went to the entire audition process. Like, 
I feel like may may call yon and then may you have to go back pa may mga ganyan. Eh. What was like auditioning for PBB like? Because you mentioned that you grew up in kind of a Cebu bubble, you weren't exposed much to different kinds of personalities and then I'm sure like when you audition for PBB, there's so many people auditioning. You have to kind of Maybe put yourself out there, I'm not sure, for like a panel of judges. Yeah, a lot of... Ito yung suggestion ko for people that want to be in PBB. Just be yourself. The people... Ang, ang ano ka kasi, when nakahilera kayo eh, like line, like as if parang mag-mug shot kayo lahat. And then people, uh, they ask you questions, like instantly answer, answer, answer. First thing that comes like, out of your mind. Like a question and then everybody has to answer. Mm. Oh. And I feel like a lot of people like cried instantly or had Why? a sob story. Oh, may mga okay, okay. And I feel like those people, parang may acting or may, may pinipilit ng konti. Not all. Not all, but syempre, if, if you're, imagine if, of the thousands of thousands, how many people cry? So right, so it's kind of refreshing when someone doesn't. When someone just becomes real and just napaka totoo lang. But I'm sure you weren't the only one. Like I'm sure madami ring walang sob story, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like ano, um, it it's just a guess. It's just a guess that parang if it's always crying, like people think that. PBB wants people to cry all the time. <laughs> Pero nakakapagod kaya. It, it, watch a movie or watch PBB where everyone's just crying. Diba parang, uh, It's emotionally draining for the audience. For the audience. Yeah. So I, I feel like this is just my hula. They don't want also people to cry all the time. I feel like if I was a judge also for like PBB and I was looking at people auditioning in front of me, like, uh, like, Give me a break. You'll be desensitized. Yeah. Then. But iba yung ano din nila, like sila direct Lauren, like yung respeto ko sa, nila, sa kanila is like through the roof. Imagine talking to how many people, hearing the stories of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people right. over the years. Being able to distinguish which one is Yeah. And I feel like worthy. that's why sobrang bilis na nila pumili. Right. Because they kind of know already that this one's being authentic, this one's not. Did you ever feel like, mm, maybe they're not going to pick me? I'm scared. Like, yeah. what if I don't. Yeah. Or yeah, did, you did. Know, like, did, you, did you know that? Did you feel like maybe Ericsson could pull strings or something? I mean, see, Ericsson can ha- know Direct Lauren. That's for sure. He knows the director. And Direct Lauren knows that I was auditioning. Wait, who is the Direct Lauren? Direct Lauren is the, the head of PBB. Okay. So at every audition, he's there? Y- uh, yes. Um, okay. I-, I think so. But every audition I've attended, na- nandun siya. Um, but I feel like I'm not the only one na my manager. And mm-hmm. daming my manager and then daming kakilala si Direct Lauren. Right. Diba? So he can't like accept everyone. Of course. Right. So parang and the, he, there would be no point for him to do anyone any favors aside from him knowing you or like parang mas highlighted ka lang siguro I would say but nothing much more than that. Mm-hmm. And they always pick uh, mga models, mga ganyan. So I feel like they also have access to mga modeling agencies. Right, diba? right. So did you feel like, you mentioned earlier, you felt like it was serendipitous that everything happened and kind of, well, everything kind of fell into your lap. I yes. Say, right? Yes. And like, how does that make you feel today? Very, very lucky. Wow. I, I really think so. I really think BBB changed my life for the better. Mm-hmm. It gave color my life it gave me opportunities like it would be easier to start a YouTube channel it would be easier to um, have this podcast because meron ng recall yung pangalan ko di ba? Right. and people got to know me on a deeper level right and I feel like you also got to know yourself oh yeah yeah so right. much so like parang huh, I had I have so many stories of like just surviving your own head. Right. Because if you're like with a group of people for five months and diba, even with your family or kabarkada, marag, parang mapapraning ka or mapapran, paranoid ka, like what are they saying about me? Are or, they talking about me? Yes. And are it's they a game. all in the room without me? Yes. So it was always like that. And whenever they were talking about me like, or like, 
they were in the corner parang iniisip ko na oh is it this me? is it me, me. Uh, and then you'll get depressed you're gonna get depressed right like, so you felt that inside the house like you felt yeah sad. i felt like if i i would have had a better time if i knew how to meditate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because i it was just i was just in my own head all the time i think a lot of you were yeah i and, mean and i think that's normal yeah because there's so many mind games right like Kuya gives you all of these tasks. Mm. You're battling with yourself. You're battling with the people around. You're battling with the audience. Like, yeah. what? To me, I don't think I would have survived it. I know you're very strong mentally, um, and I'm oh, not. Yeah. A, and I'm not as strong no, not, uh-uh. mentally as you. So I think it's a very big deal for you to come out of that without needing to talk to anyone or seeing a therapist. But my question is, like, what to you is or was the hardest part or the hardest experience? The hardest the experience was the waiting. The it waiting was for. always the waiting. Like, when will this end? After like the third month, they're parang ah, patapos na to kasi third month na eh. Then fourth month, ah, hindi patapos. Are, Wait, are, so are, when you sign up for PBB, they don't tell you like this, nope. o- this is only gonna last a month or nope. five months. They'll give you a range, or you have an idea of the range of time because parang makikita mo yung other seasons. Now, oh, three months, four months max. So it's not like every week they vote somebody out until like nobody's left. It's all, almost like that. And again, our our season had the most people. So in essence, we would be sad when when one of our friends evict. But on the other side of that is that we're happier because one we're one step closer to actually finishing the season. Na. Right, five months. That's a long time. Yeah, and I feel like I know the biggest learning I feel like is the leadership and being able to stand up for my own self. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I actually had fights inside PBB. Not just the one that sumikat yung mga name people na nakita mo. Mm-hmm. It's, I had a fight with the snatcher guy, si Kigoy. And sabi niya, like, magantay ka sa akin sa labas. Whoa, oh, yung mga creepy. ganyan. It's like, so, super scary. Are you guys but friends now? We fought because parang binubuli niya yung isang girl. So parang, Kigoy, ano ba? Ginanyan ko siya. So, kami yung nag And then, how are you guys now? Like, are you friends or does he still hate I you? I haven't heard of <laughs> him. I actually... Heard actually, from him. Oh, uh, I heard about him in, like, in a long time. I, the rumor is he passed away. What? Yeah, I don't know if it's true. Whoa. And like, nobody of your PBB friends have contacts with him? No. And he Whoa. was like a drug addict. And he was like... Alam, sinabi talaga niya eh. I'm a drug addict. And you can see it in his face talaga na sobrang payat. So after PBB, no one was ever in touch with him? Mm, we saw him from time to time some guest things because there are a few guest things after PBB. And after that, wala na. Whoa. Yeah. But did you guys like ever talk after? Were you friends? Did um, you fight still? No, no. Um, there were, may, meron kaming kabarkada it's a PBB that we actually hung out with for a while after PBB. But then people have their own lives now. What do you mean, Marin ka yung barkada? Like, oh, like, like the people PBB, inside. Yeah, the, the, your favorite people outside, inside. Right, uh, right. That you meet. But um, eventually. Eventually, yeah. You, life own, you have your own life. And I feel like I have a little bit more insight because I hosted PBB after mm-hmm. uh, the online part. Mm-hmm. So, mas nakikita ko yung buong picture of right, what is like actually happening. Behind the scenes, how the you're being portrayed, people, right? Right. Mm. That's a very rare opportunity, also to get. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like, parang there's so many people pala taking care of you, right? To make things happen, to make sure you're fed, right? Na, uh, and you mga camera people behind the scenes that stay up all night. Because if you're like one of the contestants is that what they call you like yeah. one of the people housemate. one of the housemates inside the house you're only really thinking about like yourself right yeah. like when am i gonna get fed when is this challenge gonna end when can i pee Ooh, like the feeding part is the worst right. Kasi sobrang every time you lose a task gutom kayo. like they don't give you anything to eat you start you, you have vegetables for the week ah so boy <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'll actually crave for a lot of things because it's like b- basic vegetables. Right. And I feel like because they tell you you can't have it, it makes you want it more. 
Mm. And they give you bananas every day. One ah, one banana per ako. person every day. Survive na talaga. Gulay and banana. <laughs> Pwede pala ako magpibibi love. Mm. So, sobrang bored na namin sa banana. We'll try to different ways of cooking banana. We'll like fry it. <laughs> oh, magaling ka pala magluto. Ikaw na lang magluto dito sa bahay. And some people will actually steal bananas. Like, oh my God. I remember they steal bananas or loaf of bread. From who? Parang, from each other? From each other. Wait, you, ha, you guys get one loaf of bread each? Like, no, no, not one loaf of bread each. Like, w- one or two loaves of bread a day for everyone. And, and then, then meron kang isang one. itlog. And then, yeah, one banana. And the banana pala is not exactly one. Paminsan, because they give the bundle, di ba? Uh-huh. Paminsan, it's a little over one. So, dun, ninanakaw nila. And people actually hide it. Which is weird. I really don't understand. Number one, the theft. Number two is like you're on camera. Everybody else can see you. Yeah, the people inside the house can't see you, but everybody else in the world can see you. And why would you actually do it? I think after a while, um, the feeling that people are watching you kind of fades. If you're faced with cameras and lights every single day, parang napapagod ka rin to think what I should and shouldn't do. Right? You just eventually. It's like all instinct eventually. Yeah, after maybe two weeks or three weeks. Um, for me, it never went away. There was always like 20% there. Because right. you can hear the whirring of the cameras. Or parang maybe self-conscious lang talaga ako. <laughs> right, but it's so weird. You were telling me like even in the shower they had cameras. It's like, for safety reasons. There was never, there's never a corner in the house without cameras. Corner in the house without cameras or microphones. So if you're showering and you're naked, there's somebody who can see that. Yes. Um, I actually asked the people this. Sabi nila na it's not recorded now. I don't know. Yeah, but still, somebody's watching you. And yeah. like, but I feel like it may be recorded because paminsan, pag may event sa loob sa CR, like for example, somebody cries inside the CR. How come they have footage of that? Oh. Uh, Ooh, conspiracy. I think there's a, I'm sure ABS CBN has a system for that. Did they make it, you sign like a waiver beforehand? Like we can record you exploiting. We everything? had uh, a waiver wherein we weren't supposed to talk about all the little details of so, the house. So, ano na this podcast? I'm, I'm not disclosing everything. I know <laughs> I know a lot more than I'm telling. Okay. So, we talked about like the hardest part for you what the man is like a moment that stands out like the best or the easiest or like the most memorable moment for you inside the house the mo- most memorable i feel like if meron it's the winning aside from the winning um, aside from the winning that you remember like you know how there are these random moments that really stand the most out. random moment because you haven't seen anyone in so long i haven't seen someone else in like Three months. Pumasok si Vicky, Vicky Bello. Nagulat talaga ako. Oh my God, my stranger. <laughs> like parang, yung in- initial instinct ko is like, there's a stranger in your house. No wonder you have you to do something like, about it. No wonder you have this weird attachment to Vicky Bello. <laughs> no. <laughs> Vicky Bello, Vicky Bello. <laughs> Wala naman. <laughs> weird attachment. I don't know. Like you always say Vicky Bello. <laughs> <laughs> Na- nagulat ako. Like parang, ano, and... Pum- pum- pumasok si Vicky Bello and si Crystal ah uh, Crystal Crystal and mag- friends na kami before before being into PBB so parang I was like confused why are these people pretending that they don't know me okay sige na nga hindi na tayo magkakilala <laughs> wow so you also pretended you didn't know them why is that like because a rule parang pag kinausap nila oh hi my name's Crystal parang ah uh, okay <laughs> no but like why did they do that I don't know. Maybe they were briefed. Mm. So, parang oh, okay. Am I supposed to play along? I said, "Hindi na tayo kagilala." That's so awkward. Like, what if instead of saying like, "Oh, hi, my name's Slater," what if you said, "Hey, what, what the hell? You don't know me? Do you remember?" La, la, la. That would have been so weird, huh? Yeah, but it's not my personality to be confrontational. Yeah, also. yeah. But maybe I feel like sila did. They wanted to be fair. I, I mm, actually right. looking back, I was never brief to say you don't know these people. It was you're supposed to not tell the people inside the house how they're doing or what's going on in the outside world. What do you mean? Like if you 
are from the outside world and you go inside the house. Yes, and you go inside the house. Imagine the havoc it would like play on your mind or like yung yung system inside the house if someone were to say, Slater, alam mo, you're very much, dami mong fans sa labas. Right. Diba, magiging sobrang weird na yung show. Right. Like, like parang lumaki na ulo or whatever. Right, right. So you had no idea at this point how you were doing. Yes, we, we wouldn't have any idea at all. I actually thought I wasn't winning at all. Like I was wasting my time inside the house because number one, I wasn't nominated. So I didn't know if like people will actually vote for me. Mm-hmm. And, you were never nominated? Like, I was rarely nominated. Okay. I think twice, siguro. And then, like, parang, hmm, maybe I'm just here along the ride. No one no one really cares about me. So you never thought, like, oh, like, people like me because I haven't been nominated. It's not like that. People like me inside the house. Right. Oh, so you need to, like, get voted off like, by survivor. your peers first. Yeah. And then the public can vote for you. Yeah. Oh. See, they can either choose to save you or evict you. Right, right. Mm. So, like, what... Okay, last question. How, like, who was the person that got evicted that parang you felt so bad that he or she had to go? Divine. Oh, Divine was evicted? I thought she was, like, part of the top, whatever. No, Divine was top five. And I had oh. a task for... It's usually big four, so it's like the f- top four. And I had the task, yung shooting, shooting na task, which yun yung parang highlight, um, to to shoot like random things using a pellet gun. I had to shoot off an egg, which I did, an LED light or a light bulb, ba yun na yung malit na light bulb, which I couldn't because kahit papano hindi accurate ang gun. Ang pellet gun. Okay. Diba? I wouldn't know. Yeah, so it's like plastic bullets. Um, so it's a toy gun. Okay. So, yun, I was super sad. Na, so that went into a nomination. And then, Wait, I don't get it. So what was the task? The task was that if we, we succeeded in shooting all these things, um, Divine wouldn't be voted off. Divine wouldn't be voted off. Oh. So there would be five of us in the big night. Oh, and your task was to, like, it was only you. And you, like, if you shot it all, then she, she would be saved. Something like the, that. The, the final task was, like, a shooting task. And then everybody had to shoot. Okay. But everybody, um, eh, but I was given the most number of bullets by the decision of the housemates. Because I know how to shoot a gun. Okay. So, parang yun yung nangyari. And then, so, they took their turn. They shot. And then... A lot of them missed. So, ako na. So, you were the saving boat. Supposedly. Mm. And then, I still missed. I, I shot a little bit, but I missed. Okay, then. okay. Oh, how did you feel losing your only friend, like, your best friend at the time, like, in the house? Sobrang sad. Did you like, cry? I think I did. I think I did. Oh, did yeah. I think I did. But did she cry or was she happy to finally be out? I think she wasn't happy to be out because it was the last week na. Oh, so sad. Diba? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I regret one moment though. Parang, it was si Jessica Connolly. Mm-hmm. We kept teasing her. Alam mo yung sinabi ko sayo na, you're so paranoid. Right. And we were just joking around. Like, Jessica was our friend inside the house. We like we really liked her. But parang jin joke namin, Jessica, I know something about you. Gumanyan kami. But there was really nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing talaga. Like, that's all we said. Who started it? Did you start it? I, I forgot. I think I did. Oh my god, you're I such forgot. a bully. No, it was just a joke. Like, parang mag magkabarkada. Oi, oi, alam ko, alam ko. Parang ganyan. Sobrang umiyak siya. Like, it was messing with her head. Yeah, no, dude. Like, what if there's mean. really a secret that she's keeping? I'm a bigot sa kanya. Oh my god. See, that's why sometimes insensitive yung mga jokes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that was something that I, I can vividly remember that I regret doing. My goodness. If, I think if that were me that you did that too, I'll slap you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny though. It's funny how right now we're talking. Dami ko mga tasks na naalala. And sobrang like my mind, if you notice, is always about optimizing, being more efficient, being like 
uh, and, and I'm competitive din. So I felt like that really helped us win. Like imagine the counting the mongo and I had a system pa for counting the mongo. Yeah, oh my God, you have a system for everything. Was that developed because of PBB? I think it was just, it was already developed because of construction. Ah, okay. <laughs> like you have to be efficient, you have to think on your feet, you have to be um, parang resourceful. So parang that was one of the traits na must na develop. Mm. So let's say, like, I know I said that was my last question, but this is my last question. What if, like, Scott one day gets an email from a stranger and says, um, hey, you want to try showbiz? Mm. What are you going to say? Um, I say this to every relative or friend that actually call me. I get some calls sometimes. If it's actually a good idea, and that showbiz is dirty, ganyan. Um, if you really stick to your morals... Like, people won't mess with you. Like, yeah, there are dirty things that happen in showbiz na naririnig natin. But... If you refuse to do them. If you refuse to do them, wala mangyayari, di ba? Right, right. So, parang, I would say, go for it and try it out. There's nothing wrong in trying, whether it's showbiz, whether it's business, whether it's working, whether it's photography or whatever. There's really nothing wrong with trying, what you'll only do is regret not trying. Ah, this is what my dad told me. I'm gonna let you go inside PBB because I don't want that five years, ten years from now, you're gonna tell me you should have let me go. In short, I could mahayi. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, there's so many things in life that we can experience and we shouldn't limit ourselves just because we're scared. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting to hear about like... So, and dami ko pang stories about PBB. I think that this would be like, hello, five months coming and done. Pwede kang mag story for every day for five Pwede months. Pwede akong gumawa ng sariling podcast. PBB lang ang pag-usapan. <laughs> PBB Journey by Slater Young. Which actually the, the isn't novel. a bad idea. Ako yung mga... Alam mo yung sa sports na may newscaster that used to be or like the the commentator that used to be an NBA player. So you want to be the a commentary, the narrator of PBB. No, no this is parang since ito my na insight si Chris, ako. Oh, ito na siya naglalakad. I'm sure iniisip niya nito is ganito. Kasi mm. ganito ganyan. Ah, na praprening yeah. na to because kinukuha niya yung saging mm. tinago niya sa bag niya oo and then may insight ako alam mo guys gutom na gutom talaga kami sa PBB alam mo <laughs> ano na lang you make na lang a reaction video <laughs> sa YouTube <laughs> Slater former PBB winner reacts to the PBB housemates <laughs> so puro react 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 <laughs> ha, I think it's getting late love yeah but that was a nice trip down memory lane don't you think? It was, it was. It, um, I love talking about PBB. I feel like uh, a lot of people think it's scripted. A lot of people think that um, there's a lot of too much drama. But I really feel like it brought out the best in me. I think so too. I yeah. think if you didn't join PBB, you'd be a completely different person. I think Not I'd a be bad more person, shy. But yeah, I'd be definitely more, different. Um, Kept to yourself. Yes. More introverted. More less in open. my bubble. Right. And not just PBB, but sh- even showbiz after PBB, like, introduced me to a whole new world right. of people, meeting new friends. But even just, like, by being in Manila. Yeah. Or even, like, the family that I, del- that I, parang, that adopted me when I was in uh, in Manila. Like, sila Erickson, sila Kares. Right. Um, in, and my cousins where I live, Sila Joan, Richard. Right. Yeah. If you kind of give yourself the opportunity to step out of your comfort zone, yeah. there's so many things that can happen. Yeah. Like, yeah. As we said in the past, past podcast, like, parang, it's always good to say yes to most of the things, even when you're uncomfortable. Right. All right. Good night. <laughs>